Hey, it's Steve's Midweek Shoutout. Good to come to you on this Wednesday afternoon. I've been gone for the past couple of weeks, but it's good to be back here with you today. Hey, on this middle of the week, I want to talk to you about something I talked about on Sunday, and that is the fact that we are God's Messiah. We are God's Messiah. We are the living presence of God in the world today. You know, we say that about Jesus, that Jesus was God's Messiah, that Jesus was the anointed one, the one that God sent into the world, and Jesus was. However, Jesus didn't stop there. I believe that Jesus basically called us the Messiah as well. Jesus said, the same spirit is, that is in me is in you. And the spirit that was inside of Jesus is the presence of God. He said that he and God were one. But then he said that we and God were one. That's in the 14th chapter of John, that we are one with God. We are one with Jesus. That means if we're going to call Jesus the Messiah, we have to call ourselves the Messiah as well. It's a beautiful thing to be God's Messiah in the world. The world needs more Messiahs. The world needs you and what it is that you have to offer. But as God's Messiah, there's a few things that we need to be doing to, to bring about God's living presence. You know, the first thing I believe we need to be doing is helping people discover their spiritual path. Jesus helped people discover their spiritual paths. We need to be helping people discover their spiritual path. You know, I believe that there is one destination. There's one God that we're all going to. And there are many paths that people will take to get to the presence of God. We need to be empowering people and giving people permission and, and inviting people to engage their path to discover God's presence in their life. And remember, it's not your path. You've discovered your own path. But we want to empower other people to discover their paths. You know, maybe it's a Jewish path. Maybe it's a Buddhist path. Maybe it's a Hindu path. So many different paths. But we want to encourage other people to become curious about God and the presence of God in their lives. The second thing we need to be doing for God's Messiah is we need to be empowering people. Jesus empowered people. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He talked about grace. He talked about forgiveness. He empowered people. Who are you empowering in the middle of your life? You know, I believe that people can do so many things if they have just one person that believes in them. Think about your own life. Who believed in you? Who believed in you in such a way that they shaped and formed you as who you are as a person today? See, in the same way that that person believed in you, you need to be believing in somebody else. Maybe it's your spouse, a partner, maybe it's a child or a grandchild or a nephew or a niece, maybe it's a co-worker, but you need to be believing in somebody. You know, one of my favorite sayings is, who can say about you that I did not give up because you cared about me? Who is not going to give up because of your presence in the middle of their lives? That's what the Messiah does. They don't give up on people. You know, the third thing I think we need to be doing is, if we're going to be the Messiah is show compassion. Jesus taught about compassion. He talked about love. He talked about grace. He talked about forgiveness. He showed compassion. You know, who do you need to show compassion for? Who is it that you need to forgive? What is that bitterness in your life that you just need to let go of so you can show compassion and forgiveness and love? You know, if we're going to be the Messiah, we've got to show the compassion because you know what? There's so much hate in the world right now. There's so much dissension in the world right now. We need to model what it means to be caring, compassionate people. So you know what? You are God's Messiah. The world needs what it is that you have to offer. You are the living presence of God in the world. So my challenge to you is to go and be God's Messiah. It's great to come to you this week. Remember, Colin by the United Church, we change the way people think about God, and we are changing you and the way you think about God. Thanks for joining me on this midweek shout-out. Take care. We'll see you.